They've become one of the weapons of choice anti-police activists have used in their assaults on law enforcement in recent months. Now, this image of a Molotov cocktail is bringing a firestorm of criticism against Snohomish County Council member Megan Dunn. Be the light you want to see in the world. Okay. The post on her personal Facebook page shows a Molotov cocktail with the saying, be the light you want to see in the world. Dunn called the image a good reminder. No, that's not cool. I don't like that. Folks we talked to today called it offensive. I think it's absolutely not appropriate. Dunn deleted the post, but not before members of the Everett Police Union saw it and demanded an apology, stating the post promotes violence and murder against law enforcement. What sort of message do you think that sends to the public? Well, that violence is acceptable to get your way. And I don't agree with that. Councilmember Dunn declined our request for an interview today, instead issuing a statement via email in which she said she has apologized to both the police union and the sheriff's office. Dunn tells King 5 the post was in no way intended as a call for violence or encouraging violence. She went on to say she didn't make the connection with the image as violence against police, but rather as a reminder to continue to strive for systemic reforms. The union has rescinded its initial demands for Dunn to resign, but calls for the council member to acknowledge the counterculture of violence against law enforcement we are witnessing daily can never be accepted. In Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.